Hey guys, welcome to my video. My name is Tony, and in this video I'm going to show you how to remove a toilet. But before I do that, remember, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe to the channel, you don't want to miss anything. And uh, if you have any comments, leave us a comment, I'll reply back to you. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to shut off the water. So mine was on, so it's shut it off. And um, then we're going to flush the toilet so we can get all the water out of the tank. This will help to get all the water out of the tank and also out of the bowl. So once you have done that, you can disconnect the water line from the um, tank so it's shut off. And right here on mine, there's like a kind of like a thumb um, screw. So if you get yourself a pail, you're probably going to have to catch some water coming out of there. So if you have like a nut, uh, you just have to put a nut on it. Let the camera adjust. And on this one I can kind of just screw it off. And there's probably going to be some water that comes out. Just, yep, a little bit. So once you've done that, so once you've disconnected the water line, you'll have, I should have a screw on each side. This one happens to have wing nuts. It's a brand new toilet. I'm laying the floor down, so I've got to bring the toilet up so I can put my floor under it so it looks good. Uh, but nine out of ten times, you'll probably have a couple of screws here, and they may be rusty. So on this toilet, I can just kind of screw off the wing nuts. If you have like a half inch bolt or... Um, you know, a 7 8 bolt, you're going to want to get a wrench and then do them. There's one on that side, and there's one on this side. So we get this one. This really isn't the hardest job in the world, but if you've never done it, this video will show you what you're going to be up against. Okay, so now that you have that stuff disconnected, you should be able to remove the toilet. It's the best way to do it. I took the cover off so it doesn't slip off. It's to stand over it, and uh, there's a wax ring under here, so it might be, you know, a little hard to remove from the wax ring. So I just kind of want to work the toilet back and forth like this to break the seal. And then I just broke the seal. So once that's done, you can lift up on the toilet, and you can move it to the side or wherever you need may need to move it to. So. Basically that's it. That's all you need to do to remove your toilet and to either clean the flange or peel the flange or put a new toilet in place. It's pretty easy. Hope this helps you out. Definitely subscribe to the channel. We're always doing cool stuff over here. So, um, you know, if you have any comments, leave a comment and I'll reply back to you. Have a good one.